Hey everyone, welcome back to the Little Shop of Hoarders and the PDX Picker channel. My name's Chris. We are going to go over some orders that have sold for me on eBay and Poshmark and talk about a couple of interesting things. Number one, my best sale ever happened over the weekend, so you're going to want to stick around for that. It's a really, really good one. And also, I did something that essentially 10 times my sales on this one platform. So you're going to want to stick around for that because it is really good information I think that we could all use. So stick around after the intro song. We'll get to pulling those orders and talking about those topics. Wanna buy that Farrah Fawcett poster? Pez dispensers and a toaster. Don't know why. That kind of stuff you throw away. I'll sell on eBay. All right, so great weekend for me. Great weekend of sales. Great weekend in general. The weather was good. Played some disc golf with Jonas. Had a lot of fun. Did some chores around the house. The weather is holding out really well. It's Monday in October, October 7th, and it's 80 degrees outside, even though I'm wearing a hoodie because for whatever reason, I'm still a little bit chilled. But it is super sunny, super nice. And everything is better when you have a great sales weekend, which is what happened for me. So let's go ahead and pull a couple orders. We'll go into the specifics about what I did to really just basically 10x my uh, sales on this one platform. That's probably not the best way to describe it in terms of numbers, but but we'll get into the specifics. I think you'll find out that the results speak for themselves. So first item that sold, another pair of Vibram Five Fingers. I don't think I have that many left because I've sold most of them. This is to another repeat buyer, so this makes sense because essentially all of them were the same size. I think they came from the same person that donated them. So it makes sense that I'm going to sell them to similar buyers because they're a larger size, I think size 12. But it's this pair right here. I paid $5.99 for them. Uh, it's this black, sorry, I'll get the reflection out of the shot there. This is this black leather. I think they're, uh, yeah, KSO Trek. So I bought those for $5.99. They sold for $47 plus shipping. So uh, I think I have maybe two pairs left, probably one. So I think I've sold five so far, which is a little bit of a bummer because they're such good sellers. I wish I could find more and more of those when I'm sourcing. All right, we're already at it. The best selling item I've ever had. It's fun to make the money, but I gotta tell you, the the sale itself is, I don't, I'm not very excited. I don't get excited by it because of the type of item that it is, but it's this Kodak Alaris S2070 scanner. Picked that up for $20 in a Facebook auction here locally, and that sold for Drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. $785 free shipping on that one. Uh, probably be about $35, $40 ish to ship it. So let's just call it $745, $750. Super great sale. $20 into $750. That is my highest sale by probably $250 plus or so. I, something like that. But um, super great sale. But it's not. It doesn't give me all the feels, you know? It's not like I found some diamond in the rough. I just, I bought this from somebody who bought a, a store, a one, a storage unit auction. And they had all of these, most of the things they had already sold already, but they had a couple of toners left and the scanner that they just kind of wanted to get rid of. So it wasn't like I was hunting and, and treasure hunting and found this diamond in the rough. You know, it was somebody just trying to get rid of it. But nonetheless, Hard to argue with a $750 sale. We sold another pay, pair, uh, another set of DC Blue Ribbon uh, Digest comics. These two right here. And uh, it's kind of funny. When I first looked at this one, I thought, ah, oh, come on, there's no way this has any value. But it is, these are both Christmas themed, which is why I lauded them together. This is the one that has the majority of the value. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Who knew? But that has some good value from um, a comic book collector. And then this other one is Christmas with the Superheroes. It's got Superman, Batman, uh, Justice League people in the background, I think. Anyway, those uh, picked up for 50 cents each. Way just total profit now on all those. But 
that sold for thirty dollars and thirty five cents plus shipping took an order or took an offer for that one I will just show you this because not all orders are <laughs> big big winners right uh, this is another card that I am selling for my oldest son Aiden that one yeah this guy right here, Tony Snell. I'm not even sure if he's still in the NBA, but uh, sold this for a dollar plus shipping of a dollar twenty-five. So you know, just little little things you sell for your for your kids to help make them a little bit more money. Okay, we're gonna go into some Poshmark sales, and in the process, we're gonna talk about. What I did, I, I've said, I said 10x my sales. That's not exactly right. What I really did, don't turn away because you think I'm, I'm clickbaiting you. What I did, though, is I have sold 50 items since I started on Poshmark about two years ago. So I have been on Poshmark for almost exactly two years. I started on October 17th, 2022. I know that because it says it in the app. It's really easy, really simple. I have a total, uh, prior to Thursday, I had 54 total sales in two years. And just over the past three days, I had five sales on Poshmark. So it's, it's not 10xing my sales, because that would be 500 sales, but I essentially had one-tenth of my total sales in three days. What, that took me two years to get that number of sales before. So what changed? Well, it's actually not something new. I've actually done this before, and I think I have a little bit more evidence on it, but what I did, again, was I signed up for Posher VA. Real quickly, for those of you that don't know, Posher VA is a add-on tool. It's $25 a month, so it's, it's not cheap, but it definitely pays for itself very, very quickly. What it does is it automates your Poshmark experience. There's a lot of activities that you can do on Poshmark that will help drive your sales up. You can uh, follow other Poshers, you can share listings, other people can share your listings, you can send offers, things of that nature. Nothing rock, you know, that's super crazy, but all that activity helps drive, I think, your, your listing views. Kind of like the eBay algorithm, I think Poshmark prefers people to follow other Poshers, to share listings, things of that nature. Well, Posher VA does it automatically for you. By doing that, you can kind of set it and forget it, to borrow an old phrase. Basically, forget about it and let Posher VA do all of your Poshmark algorithm manipulation for you. And it is, the, the results speak for themselves. So, one of the biggest things that I have noticed, one of the biggest... Uh, actions that it performs that seems to have a lot of success is it will automatically send offers to somebody who likes your listing. So if they like a listing, you can set turn you can format your Posher VA settings to wait a few minutes, wait a few hours, and then it will send a an offer to that uh, liker for whatever preset amount you choose. I choose 10% uh off offer on items that have been listed for at least 24 hours. I wait three minutes after they like the item. So hopefully they're still shopping, they're still in the app, or they're still online. Three minutes later after they like one of my listings, they'll get an offer for 10% off. Sometimes people don't care, but sometimes people will, will jump on that and they'll maybe either counter for a little, even a little bit lower than that, or they'll accept the offer, whatever it is. They might ignore it, whatever it is. But it's activity that I don't even have to think about or do because Posture VA does it automatically. I'm not affiliated with Posture VA at all, um, so don't think that I'm doing this because I'm getting some sort of a sponsorship or whatever. But uh, this is the second time, I just holy held up three fingers, this is the second time I've done Posture VA. I did it about seven, eight months ago for a three month period. I certainly had great results after the first month that I did it. And then, you know, it kind of died down. I think the reason that there are really quick results right after you sign up for Posture VA is because the Poshmark algorithm really, really likes the, the activities that you're doing and it's gonna really boost or pr promote those your listings because of it. So. I went from essentially just listing of maybe 10 items a month on there to not only listing a bunch of things, but also sharing listings, following other postures, sending out offers. 
And so the algorithm really likes that, and I think that's what likely led to this super fast increase in sales. I do think it dies down over time, so my current strategy right now is I'm probably going to leave it running for about two months, and then I'm going to turn it off for another couple of months, then I'm going to turn it back on. So I'm basically going to do something like two months on, two months off, two months on, two months off. I think that could be a good way to kind of game the system a little bit. But anyway, let's talk about those Poshmark sales. They weren't spectacular, but some of them were on items that I had a tough time getting rid of, a tough time selling, so I'm excited to get them out the door. Uh, first item that sold is... All right, I didn't plan this, but while I was filming this, I, act I literally got an offer on Poshmark. Uh, I'm going to accept it, and it's because it is for a pair of shoes that I'm getting virtually no activity on. Um, so we have another sales. Now we have six sales. God, I can't hold up fingers properly. We have six sales in the last five, four days for $25. Definitely worth it. So, okay, well, I tried to accept that offer, but there was a problem with the buyer's payment. Uh, and they need to update their uh, credit card expiration date or something probably. But most likely I will have another sale. So, okay. First item that sold, I picked these up for $5, SKU 21. They haven't been listed for that long, but I wasn't having too much traction on eBay. So picked these up for $5, sold them for $30 on Poshmark. It's a pair of Nike SB Bruins. Is that right? These right here, size 10. Just sold the other pair of these, had a gray pair. Um, Nike SB Bruin Hyperfield. Sold those for $30 plus shipping. There was a little bit of a issue with one of the tongues on there, so $30 on that. And one of the nice things about Poshmark compared to uh, eBay is almost everything is shipped via priority mail, so you can use free shipping supplies from USPS. So I'm going to be using priority mail boxes. Don't have to pay for the box. And on top of it, Poshmark has actually just recently changed their fee structure. We'll go into that a little bit more after I pull a couple more orders. This one uh, sold for pretty cheap, $18. It was kind of a mistake to buy, but also, again, something that didn't have any or very much traction at all on eBay. I like these. Personally, I like these. 70s. It's going to be hard to get out. I'm going to have to set this down and navigate this box. But um, these are Palmco. You could kind of call them MCM, mid century modern stuff, but I don't really know what the exact proper decor term is for these. There are these uh, sconce candle holders right here, and uh, what's the year on them? 1977, and bought these for $3.99, maybe even more. Let's just say $5.99. I, I, it wasn't any more than that, but bought them for $5.99 at my favorite thrift store, and uh, only sold them for $18. They're, they're not, some of them are much cooler than others. Uh, I still really like these, but um, not a ton of value. But uh, sold that for $18. So let's talk about the new fee structure on Poshmark. And we'll use those uh, Nike SB Bruin Hyperfuels as an example. So Historically, Poshmark is going to charge you a 20% fee on any sale above $15, and I think they charge $2.49 on anything below $15. So on a $30 sale, they would charge 20% of that, which is $6, so I, my earnings would be $24. Now with their new fee structure, they charge, it's, it's a varying percentage, and, and I don't know exactly what they are, but I do know that it's generally less than what it was before. So for this $30, instead of only making $24, I actually made $25.56. So I got it made an extra $1.56. So that's something like about a 15% fee instead of a 12, uh, 20% fee. 
And on top of that, uh, you know, I get to use the USPS priority mail boxes. I don't have to worry about how much to charge for shipping because it all just comes out automatically. So the new fee structure, if I understand correctly, isn't quite available for everybody, but because I am a Poshmark ambassador, which by the way, I only got because I signed up for Posher VA. It has to do with the number of people you follow, the number of new Poshers, listings that you share, things of that nature. So because I paid for Posher VA, I actually earned the Poshmark ambassador status, which gives me a uh, beta test on the new seller's fees. So I can't complain about that. Maybe another reason, if you want to think about it, to use Posher VA. Next item that sold, something that was super stale in my listings. I kind of even forgot I had it. I think I've delisted this and relisted it before. It is a North Face fleece. Um, this was one of the... Got some schmutz here on the back. Anyway, this was one of the first items of clothing that I listed. The reason why I know that is because I had a very a very particular system that I used to take photos when I first started listing clothes, and this was still using that uh, process. I don't know how much I picked that up for because I picked it up a long time ago, and I don't really care what it sold for because I got rid of it, but it sold for $18. No, maybe $12. What did it sell for? Let's take a look. Yeah, twelve dollars. So here's an example of the new fee structure for this. So normally that would have been a two forty nine fee in the old system, but instead it was two dollars and twenty cents. So I made nine dollars and eighty cents off of it, minus whatever I paid for it, which was not much. Let's just look. So I'm gonna again now I'm gonna go to my reseller Genie. None of these are sponsorships. I just like to. Um, I just like these tools, so I frequently use them, especially on videos like this. But we can see here that the North Face jacket, I paid... Okay, well, for whatever reason, that is so old that I don't even have a purchase price on there. But it was probably something that I got at the Goodwill outlet, would be my guess. Just because of the condition and everything. So um, it's probably, uh, you know, two bucks that I paid for it based off of weight. These next two items that sold, also shoes, and a little bit better sales. So we have in bin 19, a pair of Doc Martin Coronado shoes. I remember where I got these. Here's, where they, here's what they look like right here. They are just some low top. Coronado is the model, size 13 see how much I paid for these. So I paid $5 for these at a yard sale and uh, sold them for $34. I originally listed them for $40. Somebody sent me an offer for $34 and I accepted it. That one, uh, normally the fee, the uh, selling fee for that would have been $6.80. $34 times 20%. So that would have put my net earnings at twenty-seven twenty, at twenty-seven twenty, something like that. My math might be off a little bit, but my earnings now are twenty-nine dollars and eighty-four cents. So again, a pretty dramatic reduction in seller fees on Poshmark. All right, last item that sold is a pair of Brooks. Uh, shoes that I got for. So I picked these up for $9.99 at my favorite thrift store. I'll be honest, I already forgot where they were. Let's hope they're in box 20. They're not. Anyway, I sold these for $40. And uh, they are in box 18. So sold these for $40. Earnings off of them were $34.97. So again, way less than, or way more, I should say, than 32, which is what it would have been before. But here's what they look like. So bottom line, I am very happy again to be paying for Posture VA. If you 
do sell on Poshmark or are considering selling on Poshmark, I highly recommend. It, it does seem like a lot, but it will, you know, $25 a month, but I almost can guarantee you it will pay for itself very quickly. For me, it paid for itself in the first two sales in a day, basically. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel to get more content like this in the future. Good luck with all your reselling adventures out there. We're going to catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.